Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. Let's get to the news that the people want to hear. Let's do right. that. Let's get to the news. All right. All right. Um, I got it. Breaking story that's going to drop on MLN any time now. Right? Okay. All right. Let us know when it's live. But what's your what's going on here? Is this a follow up to the news of the ATF getting uh, raiding Polymer 80 in Nevada? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you, you already know a lot about what's going on with it because I called you and I was like, hey, I'm getting this information. I'm not sure if it's true. And it turns out that it is. And then mm -hmm. I got some leaked. ATF documents on it. Right. So but what everyone... so what you what you you're talking about other companies having been visited, right? Other companies have been visited, but I'm talking about more than that. More than that. Okay, but let's talk about the other companies being visited yeah. first. Other what companies... other companies do you know that have been visited by the uh, ATF? One that's on record uh, as getting visited now and they're okay with me going. I don't want to blow up anyone who doesn't want to be blown up at this point. But Brownells mm -hmm. um, has been visited. Uh, they didn't turn over any customer information. It does seem like that's what they're they're going for. They're trying to get customer information to build some type of database. And I do know that they're running running the customers' names through the NCI, NCIC system, which mm -hmm. uh, basically does a background check of customers, basically what Nick's calls to, mm -hmm. and looking for people to do it. Uh, and, so that is uh, Brownells did give me a statement, um, and I think the same statement they gave to you after I talked to you, where they said the ATF did visit our facility on Thursday, December 10th, 2020. Uh, this is from Ryan Rep. He's the Brownells VP of Marketing. It is my understanding that they are acquired about ourselves for the Polymer 80 by build shoot kits. Brownells did not sell those kits. Uh, Polymer 80 continues to be a great par a partner of Brownells. And we proudly sell 80% products and other mm. parts. But so Brownells is a really good company. They're not going to turn over your information. I'm pretty sure of that, which is good. Yeah, um, and the thing to note here, the thing to note here, I think also, is that um, they're not going to stop doing business with Polymer, with Polymer 80. And I don't have any kind of like official thing from Polymer 80. They feel like, you know, unofficially, I have, there's like, you know, these guys feel like this is a lot of BS and they're back to, uh, you know, they're, they're back to work doing what they do. And there are people still selling this stuff. And if people are concerned, um, there is a letter, which we spoke about in the video we did earlier today, uh, from the ATF in regards to the Polymer 80, right? Okay. Yeah, there is. But let's okay. Get I'm, now I'm guessing from your face that that letter has somehow been rescinded. What's the deal? No, that, that letter has not been rescinded. The okay. Okay. Legit. Okay. I do have the reasons why they de they determined to go after Polymer 80 is because according to the ATF, they're seeing more and more 80% uh, uh, frames show up at crime scenes. In fact, in New York. They, they just busted a guy who had a Polymer 80 frame with a Glock selector switch. Okay. Which basically makes it a machine gun. Right. Uh, but what they need to do with that guy is, is uh, you know, prosecute him. And when he's found guilty, you know, put him under the, under the prison. Right? Yeah. Uh, let's, let, let's get into uh, let's get into what the ATF is saying. Mm -hmm. and, and these documents, these are documents. Uh, one of the things that they state, and this is kind of weird because I don't think this is right. But they said federal courts have repeatedly held that the GCA, which is the Gun Control Act, uh, firearms definition applies to a collection of unsymboled firearm parts, including firearm parts kits. Mm hmm. That is something I've never heard the ATF say. That that's bullshit. A collection of parts. Mm -hmm. This is what they're a saying. Fire, a firearm is the receiver, right? With the serial number on it. Yeah, right. I mean, how how come I'm now? Lower. Yeah, how come now? All of a sudden, they're saying a collection of kits. So if you go to if I go to Brownells or any like let's say PSA, I don't know, whatever, it doesn't matter. And I go there and I order um, a bunch of different parts. For a gun, 
you know, oh, oh. and and then I bought order a polymer eighty. Uh, what's what's the problem with that? Well, well, that's my question. If if uh, if they if you buy all the parts and you put it in a cart and you mm -hmm. check out, mm -hmm. they ship it all. Are they shipping you a firearm according to the ATF now? Right. Or or it have to be a pre-assembled kit. Mm -hmm. uh, they're they're not really clear about that. Uh, they also state that the build, buy, shoot kits are firearms because the kits are designed to or may readily be converted to expel a projectile. Um, how? Okay. How? So let's go back over what exactly is in those kits, right? Um, <laughs> and I'm trying to let me see. I'm trying to find your your. It, uh, it's, it's the it's the jig barrel part the. The lower parts kit, uh, the slide, the and uh, the the drill bits, and, right. and the Brady frame. So yeah, uh, here's here's the thing though. They mm. also says that uh, they are now saying that eighty percent frames and receivers require a case by case analysis that is dependent on the facts. But they don't actually they don't actually say what the facts are or anything like that. It's Where are you getting this information from? Is this something direct uh, uh, from the ATF, a leak or a FOIA request? This is a leak. Mm -hmm. This is definitely this is a leak. They don't want this out there. This is for internal use only. <laughs> okay, so these are internal use documents, uh, yeah. instructions from which branch, uh, from which part of the ATF? This is on. Yeah, enforcement. Enforcement. Okay. Uh, okay. And, and by the way, and here, mm -hmm. and here here's the scary part. They say if an inspector sees a buy build shoe kit on the shelf of a gun store, they are supposed to call the area supervisor so they can arrange for a special agent to respond. The FFL is going to be is to be told that they are not supposed to dispose of the kit or transfer the kit, and they're supposed to surrender it to the special agent and the special no. agent will decide if a special agent finds it it they will decide if an appropriate criminal investigation about the kit is appropriate okay first thing an atf agent if anybody has knows about atf agents which i do because i've seen them mm -hmm. they're nothing but uh pencil pushers well, you have the IOIs, but the IOIs are supposed to contact their supervisor that's supposed to contact a, a law enforcement agent. Yeah. Uh, so when he and, says special uh, agent, he's talking about someone, I mean, uh, Vincent Sheffalu that was on, that retired agent. He was an undercover agent. You're talking about uh, an agent, a special agent authorized to arrest. Yeah, I'm talking about a law enforcement special agent, not the yeah. IOI. Okay. Right. Uh, okay. Okay. And so um, they will be looking to press charges against the FFL? Uh, they could. Mm -hmm. for, for a parts kit? Yes. Uh, if, if for a parts kit that comes with a receiver and stuff like that. They yeah. could. Well, it's technically not a receiver. Right. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's not. I, I, know saying, I agree with you 100%. Uh, I, mm -hmm. But I know what will happen. And let me tell you something. I don't care what agent it is, whether the guy that carries the gun, he's not authorized to determine whether it's criminal. Mm -hmm. He well, is not that. Isn't that like a grand jury thing? Well, he's authorized to arrest, and I think that's basically what they're doing. If if, if yeah. he believes that it's criminal, so yeah. it's going to be up to him whether you get arrested or not, which is kind of. So basically what they're doing, and, and just to go to jog back a little bit to, for example, with Brownells, who did put out a statement on this, as John said, um, and I asked him, did, did these guys, was the, was the visit like a raid type of situation? Was it friendly? And they said it was like a visit, friendly, right? And yeah. they came to see whether or not they had these kits, which they don't, right? Well, wait, here's the deal. Uh, they're, this came from headquarters, but it... At, well, that behest of the L.A. field office. They're the ones who've been pushing this. Okay. Uh, so the headquarters sent it down, and the headquarters is leaving it up to the individual field offices to decide how they right. will. So, right. I mean, Polymer 80 getting raided, that's in Nevada. Uh, Brownells is in Iowa. So, and, and then obviously I think that there's, you know, you're saying you have some evidence that they're going out to other places, um, are we talking uh, about just the, the big stores? Are they going to smaller stores? Uh, one of the, one of the places that I do know they went that I don't want to 
blast them. They're, it, they make a polymer lower, and they sell kind of like a build buy shoot kit. Mm-hmm. Uh, but they are by no, I've I've never heard of them until today, and I think they have one location, and okay. they have like a, this is like a small store, and they just put it all together. Okay. And sell. But potentially what they're looking for, and in this document leak that you have, they're telling those agents, if you, if you, let's say you just do your regular visit over in an FFL and you happen to see this buy build kit on there, that you now need to call someone in to, to potentially um, arrest and like seize that and arrest the, uh, the FFL or... Definitely a seize it. Um, okay. Arresting it will be up to the special agent. And 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 basically, they're saying like each individual instance is is unique. So basically, they can look at it and go, "Oh, that's not a firearm." Then another guy comes in and can look at it and go, "I think that's a firearm." And now you have a firearm. Yeah, I mean, where's the precedence for this? Where's the authority that they have to do any of this? It's, it's, I've never seen it's, the authority. I, I don't think that there is, honestly. Yeah, uh, Harry's uh, holsters made this co- uh, ask this question or made this comment. How long? Till the ATF is asking to ban 3D printers. I mean, with this crazy, <laughs> crazy logic, how, how come they don't jump to, oh, that's a gun? If you have a 3D yeah. printer, you're in, in effect uh, a manufacturer of firearms. Yeah, it's, uh, it, it's, it's freaking ridiculous. Um, mm-hmm. I'm still going through documents. I have a lot of documents to go through. Mm-hmm. A lot. Yeah. Um, I, I feel like James Lawson, I feel like this is bat crazy. This is insanity. It you is. Know? It's something that they've never considered a firearm before, and now all of a sudden it's a firearm. And it's not a firearm because you can it's shoot it. It's not finished. It. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like, okay, well, you know, if you have the parts, then, oh, that's a firearm. I, my response is make it work. Mm-hmm. Assemble it like it sits and make it fire. Yeah, they but can't. but listen, they Walter. Can't. Walter, at the same time, a bump stock is not a machine gun. Well, we're not talking about bump. Let's let's. I'm let's just, but I'm just trying to say to you, like all this. This is crazy... even. This is this is worse than that because these none of that receiver or that piece of plastic is not a firearm. You know what? I think I'm gonna go buy a bunch of sheet metal because I want a car, and I can just buy a bunch of sheet metal and like I can say, hey, here's my car because it's sheet yeah. metal. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Try to register. <clears throat> Down to the state you live in, and try to register your sheet metal as a car. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm see, saying. Just... See what happens. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.